Hey, Dr. Mikhail Arashik here of Mara Genomics. I just finished filming a video on published literature of cancers showing up post mRNA vaccinations. What type of cancers? So please check it out. They're typically affecting the cells of your blood and your immune system. So we're talking about leukemias and uh, lymphomas. Those are the most common ones. What I forgot to tell you in that video as to potentially why that specifically is the most common cancer being observed or documented so far. And historically, basically, what we know is that gene therapies, which remember, of course, mRNA gene mRNA vaccinations is a form of gene therapy. And historically in the past, gene therapies did most frequently result in this type of cancers as well. And the reason why is because immune cells are very sensitive to genetic disruptions, basically. And the reason why is because there are very fast dividing cells. And therefore, if you're going to recognize how genetic manipulation could be affecting in any specific type of cells, the ones that are producing your bone marrow, which are responsible for producing your blood and your, and your immune cells, amongst others, or in, in, say, for example, spleen, those are going to be the most sensitive because of the fact that they are really, really sensitive to, to how genes are being used as well as uh, because they're so fast dividing. Anyway, check out the video and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.